what is up you guys it is your girl unique the iconic we are back here with a whole video for you all today's video is just going to give you all just a little glam look that i kind of got inspired to do and i definitely wanted to just show you how i got this look so i recently have started color correcting especially since i have um big eyes so my bags tend to be a bit dark um, and I also have these dark spots on the side of my nose due to me wearing glasses. Um, this is the NYX. This is the deep um, color correct. I'm using the orange out of there and I'm just kind of blending it out. After blending out the color corrector, I'm just going to use a little bit of setting powder just to go ahead and get it to kind of make sure it stays in place. And so after that, we're going to use our Maybelline Matte um, Foundation. This is in the shade 340 and 356 if, I'm, if I do believe. And of course, you guys, we're using my all-time favorite beauty blender. We're using the June & Co. of Velvet Beauty Blender. I really think you guys should invest in this beauty blender. It's just so amazing. It's so soft, and it really does get the coverage that you need without absorbing all of your product. Now I want to go ahead and just um, conceal my eyebrows. I'm using, of course, you all, the NARS Cream Concealer in the shade Caramel. I think that the consistency for this concealer is very thick, and that's what I love about it, especially since I really don't um, arch my eyebrows like that because I barely have any to arch. <laughs> and I'm not going to go all the way to the front of the brow with the concealer. I'm just going to go like probably a little bit um, close to it. I'm going to go in with my black opal foundation stick that is I uh, use for my contour to uh, kind of go right there underneath the kind of front part of my brow just so I can have that kind of effect. And whenever I have my contour, it just looks a little bit stronger. So you guys, there's a fun fact about me that I've never really told um, you guys before, but I chew my tongue like it's my habit. I got it from my mom. I've been doing it since I was like a baby and it's just like so hard to get um, get out of that habit. Like, but I honestly, it's kind of like whenever I'm focused or I'm stressed out, I chew my tongue. I don't know why. I just it's, it's just a habit, you guys. I think it, I think it's really a habit that I just picked up you know, while my mom was carrying me or something, but <laughs> I always chew my tongue. So no, I'm not chewing on anything else. Just so y'all know, it's my tongue. And like I said, I'm grabbing the black opal foundation stick just to go ahead and um, conceal like right underneath the front of my brow. I recently picked up that the L'Oreal um, full coverage concealer. Um, this shade was probably the best shade to that fitted uh, my skin tone. The shade after this one, and I forgot the name of this shade, I do apologize, I'll put it in the description. But this was by far the closest shade. Um, the other one was like dang near my skin tone. And I was just like, um, yeah, I'm just going to stick with this. So I'd rather have a bright highlight than have a highlight that just looks like my skin. So um, I kind of messed up right here, you guys. I contoured my nose first. I caught myself trying to do a new trick. And I should have not did this because I just felt like my nose contour was not as strong as I typically like it to be. Or I will say it just wasn't as noticeable as I would like it to be. And I will also say for this concealer that a little does go a long way. Like I really did not need that much concealer. But 
it was a new concealer and y'all know we can get real happy real quick but um so far as you can see like the consistency and the coverage is really there i do think that this is a good concealer and you all definitely should try it out i told you i'm over there effing that tongue up honey i told you i chew my tongue like crazy i chew it on it like it's gum So yeah, this is when I said I was uh, effed up. Typically, I conceal my nose first before I contour, but I don't know what I was thinking. I just was, I don't know, y'all. I was really just going along with the flow. And of course, we're just gonna go ahead and blend out that nose contour. I use the e.l.f. contour brush. I really think it's very precise for getting the nose contour that I like. I like my nose contour, contour to be very precise and noticeable to the point where it just looks like, it, it looks natural and it's not all over the place. Now we're using the same black opal stick. This is in the shade Karab. I'm going to use this as my contour. Like I said, you guys, this is my go-to. I absolutely love um, the black opal foundation sticks. They're so nice and creamy, and they definitely have really good coverage. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my concealer that's a bit darker than my skin tone. This is from the Absolute New York. It is the um, shade 11. I think it's the darkest shade. I think. I'm not sure. But I use this to just carve out the top of my brows. I feel like it's better to do the top part of your brow after you've done your foundation and everything just to avoid any um, messing um, any um What's the word I'm looking for, you guys? Just avoid it from looking like crazy. Because I do know that sometimes when you do the concealer um, before the foundation, it doesn't really blend well together. So it's better to just go ahead and just do it after you've done like your foundation and stuff. Y'all, I'm really like effing up my tongue. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, I do apologize. I look crazy. But now I'm going in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder in the shade light. I'm using the e.l.f. blush brush, I believe. This, you guys, this brush is so good for setting your under eye and your concealer. Like, it, it just, it holds onto the product very well. Like, if you can see, like, it just... I don't know it's like really really good for setting your face honestly like it's it's it just gives like this full seamless look but I decided to take it up a notch and I decided to use the same concealer that I used to carve out my um under my eyebrow to kind of carve out my contour so that can look a bit more precise and more sharp
Now, with any excess foundation you have on your sponge, I use that to just kind of go over the line so that you won't see that bright patch right there, but you'll definitely know that there is a nice seamless contour. And of course, I have to make sure my nose is snatched, baby. So I'm just using this small square sponge and I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of set my, uh, my nose. Now we're using the OG P. Louise base. This is in the shade Rumor 4. Using this to just kind of put all over my lid so that we can get ready to do our eye. Now I went in to the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I'm going to use that, that the darkest brown shade in there. And I'll just kind of use that to carve more of like a C shape on my eye. And then I just kind of buffed it out with a, a fluffy brush just to kind of make sure the edges didn't look too harsh. And when you blend out the um, that eyeshadow, make sure you kind of blend that brown into the contour underneath the front of your brow. And I'm going in with that gold that is in that palette as well. And I just sprayed my brush and I just kind of went ahead and kind of blended it into the brown shadow. I'm taking the same brown shadow that I use and just dragging it under my eye so that I can have a bit more dimension to help the color pop out more. After that, I'm going in with the black eyeliner and I'm just going to go ahead and just line my bottom lash line and then kind of blend out that black eyeliner to make it a bit more deep. So you guys, I really try so hard to get good angles whenever I'm doing like my eyeliner or I'm putting on my lashes or on my lip liner, but I just can't get the angle right. I do apologize. I try to give y'all like a little snippet of how I do my eyeliner. I hope this can suffice for right now. I will do better, you guys. I'm so sorry. And I'm going in with the Wet n Wild. This is their gold highlighter. Like I told y'all in my previous videos before that, I do not know the shade of this highlighter, you guys. Like for nothing, but this highlighter is so bomb. Wet n Wild highlighters are the bomb.com. And I think they're like only like $2. Like, please, you guys, invest in them. They are so nice. It just kind of gives you like this wet look, but it doesn't do too much. And of course, we're gonna set our face with the Morphe setting spray. I went ahead, like I said, you guys, I tried to get an angle in with my lip liner, but it just wasn't working. So I'm just using this MAC Red Lipstick. I forgot the name or the, the shade of it. It's not Ruby Rue, but it definitely is. Um, I, I think it's, is it Russian? I forgot what it's called. But anyways, you guys, um, I went in with this sparkly red lip gloss that I got from MAC as well from like a holiday gift set. Like, y'all, yeah, I'm so sorry. I really do, do not know what the names of these products, some of the products I use. Like, I'm really, really trying. I'm so sorry. But if I do find it, I will put it in the description. But, I mean, other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely please like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Mwah.